What I'm going to talk about in this tutorial is how to adjust column and row heights. Now, it sounds kind of basic, but let me give you a quick example. I have two sets of data here that represent the same types of data but for different companies. Now, what I want to make sure is that the columns for both sets are exactly the same size. One way I could do this is to click right here and I'll see that the width is 116 pixels for column B and then go ahead and make column F 116. But that's really time consuming and if you need to do this for say 10 columns it can take a long time and be really annoying. So one way to do that very quickly is to select the columns that you want to change. So I'm going to click column F and then press control and click column B. Now whatever you do to one column is going to happen to the other in terms of sizing. So I'm going to go to the right and click and drag column B to the size I want. Say I want 110. And now you will see that column F has changed exactly the same as column B. It's really easy to do and it saves you a lot of time. Now I'm going to do the same with column E and column A and column C and column G. In addition, you can format the columns this way as well. So I want to do I want to format closing price the same. I'm going to select everything in closing price here. I'm going to hit control and select all of the numbers here. Right click format cells. Now I want to make them all a dollar amount. So I'm going to go to number. Then I'm going to make it currency, two decimal places. OK. And now you see that both columns have changed to number formats. So that's a way that you can save a lot of time. You can do the exact same thing with rows. So say for some reason I want two of these rows to be wider than the other or more than that. I'll just randomly choose a bunch of rows. Now I'm going to select any one of them. Oops, wrong one. I'm going to select any one of them. You want to make sure you select on the bottom of the rows that you've selected in order to adjust it. Now I'll make it really big just so you can see. Now all of the rows are that big. Or all of the rows that I selected. And that's a quick way to adjust it.